Here's Kev Mo's Tell Everybody I Know. It's no secret, I don't care. Go and shout it out everywhere. I love my baby, hot, cold, fast, and slow. I love my baby, going to tell everybody I know. In the evening in my bed I hear voices in my head And they say never, ever, ever let her go I love my baby, gonna tell everybody I know I love my baby, gonna tell everybody I know Other women don't mean a thing to me you can pick them all up and drop them all in the sea Cause if I got no money, she don't care She's gonna open up a pocket bunk and pay my fare I know she loves me up, down, high, low I love my baby, gonna tell everybody I know I love my baby, gonna tell everybody I know Other women don't mean a thing to me You can pick them all up and drop them all in the sea Cause if I got no money, she don't care She's gonna open up a pocketbook and pay my fare I know she loves me up, down, high, low I love my baby, gonna tell everybody I know I love my baby, gonna tell everybody I know I love my baby, gonna tell everybody I know She's a sweet thing She's a lovely thing She's a fine thing Gonna tell everybody I know Tell everybody Gonna tell everybody I know I love my baby Hot, cold, fast, and slow Up, down, high, or low Gonna tell everybody I know What I'm, what I'm doing here is um, um, I, I'm doing a lot of alternate picking I'm doing an A string and then an E string. And I think some people call this Merle Travis picking. Uh, this is a You see how, how that's happening while I'm playing the guitar. And, uh, you know, trying to play that and then sing it at the same time, it's going to take a lot of work. Wow. I'm going to have to do this like uh, I'm pretending you all are here with me. Anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, the um, alternate picking and then playing the lower strings at the same time. This is like playing the piano, really. Uh, you have... You're playing bass on one hand and uh, playing the treble on the other. And um, I'm putting the six in there. So uh, for for uh, some of you that. Um, don't understand what I'm saying when I say the six. This is the sixth note of the key of A. So. And 
That's your six right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. And then it goes to, uh, to the next chord, which is the uh, four chord, is the D. I'm doing the D instead of doing it right here at the open open chord strings. I'm um, I'm hitting it right here. Uh, my index finger is on the five of the high E, sixth fret of the B string, and then uh, um, seven seventh fret of the B string, seventh fret of the G string. That's how I create an E D a D chord right there. Um, those first two chords are gonna sound like this. It's no secret, I don't care. Go and shout it out everywhere. I love my baby, hot, cold, fast, slow. See how how, how I made those changes, um, and um, the. The song goes to the five chord, which is E. I go to the E7, to the D7, and then A. So, um, I'm also doing the uh, uh, alternate picking on the E. I wish I could uh, actually be seeing you right now, but um, um, I'm just gonna keep talking, I guess, and uh, and show you some of the styles that I um, that I employ during my playing. When I'm playing, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of dampening here on my uh, with my palm. I mean, as you can see, it's, it kind of goes staccato. I mean, it, it, we just keep putting more and more into the into the song, and um, we we started with just you know the chord. Uh, in a simple way, you can actually just play this in um, in the open chord right here, A and D. I mean, if you're just uh, I mean if you're just starting to learn the guitar, um, I'm not gonna expect you to be able to do this. You can you can start with uh, just the basic chord, the open chord. This is A. So um, this A chord right here, uh, you can you know you can, you can do this um, you can do this uh, rhythm called uh, I call it you know I learned it from somebody. They call it boom chicka boom chicka boom boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom. Chicka boom, chicka boom. It's no secret, I don't care. Go and shout it out everywhere. I love my baby, hot, cold, fast, and slow. See, see that rhythm? I mean, you can keep doing that, just stay in your rhythm. Chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. You know the thing is when you uh, when you start playing as an amateur or start playing out, um, um, you can't just be playing that one position and uh, keep your audience uh, attention. Uh, you gotta you gotta bring in more more stuff as you um, as you um, you know as you progress in your uh, performing. <clears throat> next uh, um, step that I'm going to show you is 
when when I start going doing the lead, I just go. I go to the D. This is another D. Back to A, and then I do that harmonic. That is a harmonic. It happens on the. Five, seven, and twelve. So, uh, and then I, I go to the last, the five chord. Back to the A. That's another voicing of the A right there that I that I use. See, when I when I'm playing, when I'm playing, I, I don't like to uh, just stay in one position. I would play this A. I would play this A right here. I would play this A right here. And I will also play this A right here. And it's it's amazing how the whole set of strings, the whole set of six strings can be ringing. It's like actually it's like playing two guitars. So that's your uh, that's your uh, A right here on this um, ninth position, ninth position. On the second position, you see how it's it's different. The voicing is different. This is another different voicing right here. This is another one. This uh, this is uh, really a full A right here. There it is. I'll just I'll just play I'll just play it again so to demonstrate it to you. Uh, may, maybe you will learn something with uh, you know the techniques that I'm uh, actually employing in this song. to the uh, bridge other women don't mean a thing to me that's a C D A and then the second time around it's gonna be a you can pick them all up and drop them all in the C E you hit it three times cuz if you got no money she don't care she's gonna open up pocketbook and pay my fare I know she loves me up, down, high, low I love my baby Going to tell everybody I know I love my baby Going to tell everybody I know I love my baby Going to tell everybody I know Okay, Breezy says, is that the guitar you use on stage? Uh, yes, uh, Gary, this is, this is the guitar. Um, this, is, um, this is a Taylor, and it's, it's, it's the best guitar I've ever, uh, I've ever had. And um, it's actually a gift from a friend of mine, um, Dave Waddell. And, uh, you know, that, that guy is very generous amazingly generous he gave me this this is uh like a sixteen hundred dollar guitar <laughs> and he just gave it to me because you know i i give him lessons and stuff and and we hang out cook and uh you know he has been a very good friend dave waddell thank you so much sir so eddie rains is asking about uh he said uh, can you talk more about those chord shapes it, that is that just C and F shape moved up the neck. Uh, Eddie, uh, these um, these chords that I'm doing, um, you know, um, when you um, when you have a, a chord like a major chord, basically uh, all you have is the one and three and five. Okay, so 
let's let's uh, let's uh, talk about this. If you're in A right here, you have your root, which is uh, which is your A, right? And then you, this is the five, which is an E, the second fret of the D. Okay, and then the second fret of the G string is A. So basically, we just had one, five, one. And then the C sharp. The C sharp is the three of the A. When you go A, B, C sharp. So uh, that's your three. And then uh, the last string is the high E, which is it's, uh, it's another five. So basically, if we play all the strings like this on an A open chord, you're starting with a five, which is an E, one, which is the A, uh, E, which is five again, A, which is the one again, C sharp, which is the uh, the three and then back to the five. So so basically your your open chord is all one three and five So when I move here It's the same thing you have the one threes and the f and the five so uh, basically from here you get E five a one This is your um, A again one C sharp, which is a three. Your E, which is the uh, five. And then you're here on the fifth fret is A again. So it's a combination of one, three, and five. So when I was playing, um, when I was playing um, um, this uh, introduction. Okay, I'm adding the six, that's the six. So if this is the five, which is the E note, the six is the um, the next one, which is an F sharp. So uh, so when I say A, A six, uh, I'm adding the six of the A, the sixth note of the A A major scale. So it's it's pretty amazing that uh, you know it can work out this way when you're doing the. Um, when you're doing the um, alternate picking. See how you pull it off? And then the D, you can do the same thing with D. Uh, I'm doing this, this is, this is, like I said, this is open chord, this is open chord, also, I mean, uh, this is the uh, fifth position of the D, which is basically this one here. You know, it's, it's a bar chord. So, instead of playing the whole deal, the whole chord, like this, I open the D, that's a D, and then you're, there's your five of the D. There's your um, the three of the D. And there's your um, there's your five. So so you still have one three five of the D chord. And, and the thing is, you can do the same thing. Put the six of the uh, D, you will have this. So, and you're, you're doing the alternate picking also. Anyway, back to the A chord. The A chord, uh, moves to another position here. This is uh, this is my seventh position right here because I'm on the seventh fret right here. So this is your A on the D string on the seventh fret. That's the A, and the open string of the A, the the A string is um, another A. So you have two A's and then your 
top is the five, okay? So there's another A right there. That's a, that's that's a pretty voicing. I love that. I love that voicing right there. It's uh, it it, it brings um. It brings uh, your playing to a different degree instead of just playing. When you go here, it's almost like two guitars playing. You know, I do I do play a lot of solo gigs, and um, and uh, that's the difference uh, that I make when I make these chords because you know I I don't sound like um, I don't sound like. Uh, you know, I just started playing like last year or something. So this position right here, you can you can use this a lot in a lot of songs. You know, if you remember um, Amy, Amy starts with this introduction right here, this chord. I'm sure you remember that. You remember that song. Um, that is. Um, I've got an open E, open A, and then the D string on the seventh fret, and then um, uh, the G string on the ninth fret, and then the uh, B string on the tenth fret, and then the E is open. That gives you that beautiful chord. That's a full. That's a full chord with the, all the one threes and fives. But then another chord that I really like is this one here. So, open E, open A, eleventh fret, which is the third of the A. That's a C sharp. This one here is the uh, E string, the E note on the G string, and that's your A right there on the tenth fret. And then open, open low, low, uh, high string E. That's it. There's E, A, and then. Uh, well, I'm sorry. This is this is a three, three. There's your E again. There's your A, and there's your E again on the bottom. I mean, it's okay to to hit all of your six strings. It doesn't hurt. I mean, it. Um, the way I look at it is, you know, if, if you're playing a chord. <laughs> And something does not sound right, that means you're hitting a string that's not supposed to be there. So let, let's 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 review those uh, chords. You know, I'm gonna walk walk you through them. Um, this is your open string. This is I mean an open chord. This is what they call an open A chord. And then I go to the fifth position, which is basically this. Uh, bar chord but then I open the A string and then open the E string that becomes an, an A and you can hit all the strings all six strings and then on the seventh position I do this that's another A chord and then over here is another different chord which is also an A. It can go on as you go, you know, further up the neck. This is actually an A, which is a, basically a repeat of this, but an octave higher. And then it repeats here again on the uh, A right here. So uh, one, two, three, four, five right here.
Right here is your A again. Right here is your A. But you know, I don't, I don't see many, very many people going there. It, it's, it's. Uh, I would say that's that's kind of an extreme to go to go up there, you know, unless you're, uh, you know, doing an exhibition or something. Well, you know, I don't, I, I really don't mind um, staying a couple more, uh, a few more minutes if if you guys got any more questions. I, I really do love the blues, um, and um, I worked, uh, I worked, um, you know, many, many hours, and um, I'd like to thank uh, Barry Faust. He's, uh, he's one of my mentors. Uh, Barry and I used to play at, uh, in a band called the Delta Souls, and... Uh, um, Barry showed me a lot of things on guitar, and he's an, also a harmonica extraordinaire. Um, yeah, Teresa, Teresa just mentioned something. Um, I've got a, I've got a Venmo, um, a Venmo, uh, account. You can, you know, if you feel like, uh, you know, uh, helping out a poor musician right here, this is, this is where you can, uh, you can uh, help me out, you know. You can send a little donation, you know, to help me uh, buy some more strings. <laughs> it's uh, basically uh, Venmo at Ray hyphen Panetta hyphen four. There it is. And I would, I would truly, truly appreciate it, you know. I always need new strings. <laughs> and um you know uh, there's a um there's also a link that you can uh see in this um in this um in this um um session right here where you can join guitar league you can go to www.guitarleague.com and um uh, Teresa Phillips will uh, take care of you. Okay, Mark Matthews wants to uh, wants to go through the uh, uh, Amy. Well, you know what? That's that's a beautiful song. Um, I can you know the 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 chords are really simple. Um, the, uh, the song Amy requires some really good, uh, strumming and, uh, and rhythm. You know, like I said, it starts with this chord right here that I showed earlier. It's an open A. And then D string on the seventh. And then, um, G string on the ninth. And then uh, B string on uh, tenth fret. If you hit all strings, you get that. And, and uh, the way they start that song is, it's just a strum like this. And then they they start playing the solo on top of this. Somebody is playing this, somebody would be doing the solo. So uh, the the uh, start of the uh, verse it goes. So you you, you do your open A chord. Hit it twice and then quick G G and D. So that's 
that's pretty that's pretty cool um if you um you know you you can find the chords online and um i can see how you think you belong to me never try the whole song pretty much the whole song um kathy kellish she said that's one of my favorite songs yeah you're welcome um i think i'm gonna do one last tune and uh and um exit from there um thank you all for joining tonight and uh it's uh it's it's a challenge for me to actually to actually be doing this. I've never done it before. Um I'm going to do um another uh, another one of my favorite blues tunes. I'm drifting drifting Just like a ship out on the sea I'm drifting and drifting Just like a ship out on the sea I ain't got me nobody In this world for me Yeah, my baby Would only take me back again Yeah, my baby Would only take me back again I would feel much better, darling And at least I'll have a friend
I give you all my money Baby, what more can I do? You're a sweet little girl But I swear you can't be true Yeah, that, you know, that, that's one thing about the blues. You'll never play them the same way. There's all kinds of ways to approach them. Um, one thing you, you're going to need to learn about the blues is um, um, they're mostly one, four, and five chord. And uh, there's a lot of turnarounds. You know, like, like this I'm talking about, a turnaround is... <laughs> You know, those turnarounds are are very handy. See that? It all it lands on the on the B chord. E lands on the B chord. Those are turnarounds that um, once you uh, you know improve your vocabulary on those turnarounds, um, it's just like uh, actually uh, talking to somebody in blues language. Uh, um, once those uh, actually start happening in your playing, um, you'll be amazed in how many instances or uh, opportunities uh, you can have. Um, anyway. I think <laughs> I'm about ready to hit 7.30, 7.24 here uh, in my clock. Um, and, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys uh, uh, out there when I'm playing. And um, thank you so much again, uh, Teresa Phillips. And uh, I want to also thank um, Tom Hurwich. And uh, the the uh, board members of uh, Smoky Mountain Blue Society for uh, actually sponsoring this show, and um, uh, everyone, thank you for joining me. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, although I'm not able to actually directly talk to you, uh, I I just started to <laughs> imagine you're here with me. Uh, um, you know, we, we're living in this uh, strange uh, situation in the world right now with COVID and um, some of us are playing, some of us are not. And um, we pray that, uh, you know, the situation will change and we can all be gathered again, you know, listening and sharing live music. Yeah. Thank you all so much. And uh, by the way, uh, you know, if you would like to help out, you know, to uh, get me some strings, uh, you can send a donation at this uh, Venmo site. Good night, everybody. God bless.